Hi there, this is Spitfire25565 with Game Mode 5, and today we're going to be looking at the Envious Host control panel, um, and, uh, and more specifically, uh, something we kind of covered before, but uh, I think really deserves its own video, is the ability to install uh, plugins at uh, just, a, just a couple of clicks. Um, here we're at our control panel, and if you go to Files, you go to Plugins, all right, as you can see here, we've got a few plugins that we can add at our leisure. Um, most of it um, uh, is kind of, uh, the descriptions aren't filled in for most of it, um, but luckily the names themselves uh, do indeed tell you mostly what the plugin does. Um, now, let's see, let's see. There, for instance, uh, Essentials. Here, Essentials. Uh, essentials is a, uh, well, it's not so much a plugin as it is a group of plugins that uh, allows you to do uh, quote unquote essential commands. Uh, there's a lot in here. Some server owners uh, love this plugin, others hate it. It does seem to be a love hate relationship, especially because earlier versions uh, had some major issues. But it seems like most of that has been worked out now, as long as you configure it properly. Uh, so, for instance, what we would do is we would hit the unpack button. All right. And here it says the plugin archive is being unpacked. See the server log. All right. Now, if we go, let's see. Uh, let's put that one on the back burner for right now. And we will install factions. Factions is a big plug-in, especially on uh, MMORPG servers or RPG servers, uh, also PvP servers, things like that. Um, and we'll go ahead, we will install that. And as quick as that, if we go back to page number two, we will see Factions as installed. It's got that little plus sign right there. And uh, we've got the remove option now because it is in fact installed. All right, we can go back. Now, on our server will now be factions. Of course, we will have to reboot the server in order to get that properly done. So we will simply restart the server. And once that is fully rebooted, see it says online, zero out of 10 players. We can now look in our console. And if you look at the boot up sequence, it does in fact say that uh, Factions is booted up. I do recommend taking a look at this every time that you reboot and something's changed, either configurations or, or whatnot, because important messages do in fact come up here in the console. Um, Let's see. And it looks like Essentials is also loaded. We can see that here. All right. Now, what we should do is hit back. Now, we can go to Files. We can go to Config Files. And indeed, if you look here, we have the YML files, or the settings files, rather, for, uh, for both essentials. And if we look, we should also find it for factions. Let's go to page number two. That's world edit. looks like Factions actually isn't showing up, and there are two reasons for that. First off, Factions says specifically to not use the config files um, to edit your, your faction settings. They actually want you to use the in-game commands. The second being that it looks like the panel is not recognizing it because it's not a YML file. I believe that they use uh, some other file setting. So. 
we would actually have to go and look at the uh, either the FTP, which is either FileZilla or the built-in FTP client here. I do recommend using uh, FileZilla uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, it does have an automatic edit uh, function in it that allows you to edit your file and then ship it right back to the server. Um, the second reason is if you ever do decide to move up to a VPS or something along those lines, that will also help you immensely uh, because it, it kind of trains you to think in that way. All right. Now, seeing as we already have the essentials configs set up here, we're going to go ahead and we're going to look at those. And now you will see here anything with this funny little mark here, that's going to be a comment. The server doesn't see that and it doesn't pay attention to that. For instance, uh, here you have a color code between 0 and 9 or A and F uh, setting to none will disable. Now, that means that this is solely for your benefit to make this a little easier on you. Now, uh, here, um, you know, you see other settings and true and false. Again, be very careful. A space or a especially a tab in the wrong place can break these files. All right. Now, um, edit this to your liking and then what we would do is we would save. Now, every time we do that, it will require either a restart or a reload. Now, a reload is in game when you type in slash reload and hit, en and hit enter. It's good common practice to not reload a server. And the reason being is the way that bucket is implemented it causes problems because of the way that it flushes the old out and adds in the new long story short try not to do that uh, i know it can be a pain if you've got some users online but you will end up so much happier as an admin if you just restart the server so that's what we're going to do just to showcase i know we didn't edit anything but for the sake of argument and once this comes back up, beautiful. All right. Now, if you have, if you guys have any questions, comments, matters of concern, leave them in the comments down below. I'm Spitfire two five five six five with Game Mode Five. Like, subscribe, comments, please.